Well, hello there. Welcome to the Obi Thorn Alliance. I'm Jake and I'm Luke. And we're the YouTube channel that offers the opinion of two different perspectives. We've got that of someone on the autism spectrum and that of someone who's not. If you like our content, don't forget to like and subscribe. We upload new videos every week. And what are we doing today, Jacob? We are breaking down and discussing episode four of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Awesome. So we've seen four episodes now. We've got two more to go. The show yeah. is building quite nicely. Obi-Wan is your favorite character from Star Wars, so I know you're yeah. super pumped about the show. I'm quite enjoying it. Let's let's recap what's happened so far and then we'll get into some discussions. Uh basically after the events of the previous episode, uh Leia was taken yeah. by the second time. Second time. Well, she's been, she was abducted earlier, and now she's been abducted again. By Raven, yes. And now they need to do a rescue uh, slash hot uh, breaking out by um, sneaking into this well-guarded Empire uh, stronghold and getting Leia out of there uh, by getting help from the intelligence circle while Shum was the... First name for the rebellion, so we basically get this uh, little heist uh, episode with Obi Wan, and what I thought was pretty cool. I know there's a lot of complaints that this was the shortest episode, so a lot of people don't like it as much, and I can agree if that was the reason why you don't like it, because you know you have to wait for a week and only goes for 38 minutes but i thought the episode was enjoyable i would agree out of all the other ones it's probably the weakest one but it was still enjoyable oh i enjoyed it i thought it had some cool action and we got to see you know lightsabers out a bit more we got to see the force being used a bit more as you mentioned the heist uh we got to see vader again there was there was lots of things to like about it. i not don't necessarily have any dislikes. The length of it was fine. Um, I guess I feel like maybe he s rescued Leia pretty easily. I agree. With and that. he also did that in the second episode as well. Like she's been rescued twice now, pretty easily. But yeah. that that's about it. I just think it's prob probably would have been a bit harder to break into a you know a, a fort hole of uh, the Galactic Empire and get out. But you know who, who knows? It just seemed a bit easy. Yeah, I'd agree with that. And we basically get this in introduction and interrogation scene by Leia and uh, Raven. And did you like how Leia handed, handled herself against a s older female? Yeah, it seems like Leia's already... Becoming. Quite, yeah, she's quite strong and, you know, she stands up for what she believes and she's not going to dob anyone in and... I don't know. Would she? Uh, probably not. You know, young girls would probably give in, but they're implying, you know, uh, Leia's a bit special, and that's why she goes on to be who she goes on to be. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they we're getting early signs of that. Um, what else? We got to see, you know, Raven, you know, getting a bit of strife with Vader, but managed to escape and get out of that. She... Uh coincidentally put a track on Leia's joy but we didn't get to see that she must have used the force and then in her hand while the camera or while we weren't watching she had like a tracker on there so it's like yeah I, it's up to our, your own imagination of how that happened I, yeah. I assume maybe she just took it off her while she's being interrogated and then added it and then gave it back to her mm. But that's going to be, you know, whether the next episode's going to take off from them, them trying to chase down and capture Leia again and kill Obi-Wan. I guess, what do they plan to do if they were to kill Obi-Wan? Would they kill Leia or would they just return her? Because they ultimately only need her as leverage. They have no other need for her. But we obviously know that doesn't happen. Uh, so that's what I'm thinking next episode's going to follow. What, do you, what, do you, what would you like to see in the next episode? Um, I guess an epic build-up leading up to a 
another fight um, between Vader and Obi-Wan, or maybe Obi-Wan fighting Raven, because we know that Obi-Wan and Dark Vader fight in the New Hope, so maybe more Obi-Wan defeating Raven and either one of the two, and see that in episode um, five or six, and kind of an epic conclusion we could, uh, to lead to episode four. Yeah, I think that that's how it will end. I think it'll be a Raven Obi Wan fight, not yeah. a Ra- not an Obi Wan Vader fight. That does lead me to believe why would if Vader was wanted Obi Wan so desperately, why wouldn't he have done it himself? Why would yeah. he leave it up to someone else if he fears they're incompetent? But you know, we I guess knowing how the films lay carry out, you couldn't change that. Because, you know, if Vader did go out and do it on his own, he was either going to be successful or die. Mm. So, you know, you can't do that because then that ruins the franchise that continues on. Um, One little thing I'm noticing through this, and it clicked from watching the other movies, is why would Anakin... Like, I understand that he's very powerful and that makes him a good Jedi, but why would he be the leader? Like, he's never really displayed leadership category... Like, um... Uh, you know, characteristics. He seems, even as Anakin, he was a bit, you know, reckless and wild and would do things his own way. Um, So beyond his actual strength, I don't know what would make him a good leader and why they would choose him to be the head of the Galactic Empire. Or do we assume he's just, you know, he's actually just the face and he's following the directions of those above him? I'd agree with that from watching the movies. We get to see more from that from the Clone Wars with his leadership skills, but if you hadn't watched the Clone Wars, you wouldn't you wouldn't see his leadership skills. Okay, well, that answers my question. Because, yeah, from what I've seen, he doesn't scream, you know, a leader. He just seems like he's good in combat, but not being able to make the big calls or big decisions. But if you think the Clone Wars explains that, then... That answers my question of the the gap that I was seeing. Well, the movies should explain it, but they skipped ahead quite a lot and made the Clone Wars to make something better. Mm. Yeah, which is fine. It's an interesting way of doing things, but there's definitely no shortage of Star Wars content out there, so you can definitely fill in a lot of the gaps. There's always something being created to fill a gap. I do think two things were funny with the episode, how... This, you know, they had their protocol and then the um, female officer who was a double agent, like, had a r- really, like, discussion with the security officer and then he's like, yes, man, and then she just easily got in. Yeah, I feel like she wouldn't have got in. No. And then she was, like, fiddling around with their computers and she was talking into this little microphone and thing. no one noticed. Yeah, no one noticed her talking into it. I don't buy that. And what was the other one? I wonder if it's the same thing I thought. And then when there were so many stormtroopers, you could see everyone's face, and I felt like saying, are you a bunch of idiots or something? Yeah, that, like, that was what the are you other, doing? That was the other one. Just because he put on the officer outfit and he snuck layer under the <laughs> cape, people weren't noticing it. So that was that was the one I noticed too. So we both agree on that? Yeah, I, I feel like they would have noticed that. Like, yeah, they were in a bit of a flurry, but... Well, I guess stormtroopers are known dumb. for being dumb, so maybe that's the explanation. But there were officers there as well. It's mm-hmm. not until Raven goes, stop them, or like yells out mm-hmm. Obi-Wan, and it's like, oh, they all sun go, oh, point their guns. <laughs> are we assuming that Vader was in the base and didn't come down, or he know. showed up later? I think he showed up later. Because I, I feel know. like he would have came out to be part of that battle. Like mm-hmm. he wouldn't just sit there and be like, oh, there's you know, something going on here, oh, it's a city. Are you getting sick of the Inquisitors' like hatred and banter towards each other? It's like the the fifth brother and the second sister keep um like hating Raven, and are you kind of getting sick of it, or you understand their problem towards her? Uh, well, I don't know if I'd say sick, but they have. Yeah, I can see their motive. You know, they all want to be, you know, the Grand Inquisitor. So they, power. All, yeah. So they all want power, and so they hate each other purely because they see themselves in competition. And I guess Vader creates that because they're like, well, if I don't have power, I, I'm disposable, and I could be killed at any moment. So they live in fear. Mm. So I'm not sick of it, but it's, uh, it, it is taking up a fair bit of screen time, I guess. Mm. Well, thank you for watching. We are the Obi-Thoranites with two different perspectives. 
like and subscribe. See you in the next video in uh, the episode 5 breakdown. Thank you. Bye-bye.